related to overprocessing but actually quite different is overproduction. Overprocessing had to do with certain tasks in the process being performed and later found out not to be necessary. But overproduction is rather concerned with the fact that we execute entire process instances that produce outcomes that actually do not add value upon completion. Let me say, for example, that I have a quote to cash process. And the quote to order part, part of that process is producing lots of quotes that are then not accepted by the customer, meaning the customer does not place an order. This 50% of quotes that are being produced and that the customer just throws out is a source of waste. And we are going to seek ways of eliminating them, you know, either by not attracting requests for quotes that will not lead to an order, or by trying to convert every possible quote we get into an order, because that's what is going to add value to the organization. Consider also the case of a travel approval process. In 5% of cases, the travel requisition is actually approved. It goes through all the steps successfully. We produce an outcome, which is an approved travel request, only to find out that later the uh, requester cancels the travel in question. Whatever the reason is for that cancellation, those cancellations are sources of waste. Consider also the case of the university admission process where we received 3,000 applications, but only 800 of those are considered to be eligible after the assessment. We have in this case that we are producing 2,200 instances that in essence shouldn't be there. And we should be asking the question of how can we maybe better inform our customers, in this case the students, about the eligibility criteria or eligibility conditions in such a way that we attract less non-eligible applications into the process so that we then do not perform certain process instances for no added value in essence.